Boom, we're on. Welcome back, ladies and jelly beans. Uh, saucepans and toasters and spatulas or whatever you want to be called be called this week, next week. Or whenever. Uh, so, what's it like sleeping in a truck? Oh, well, you ask any trucker that's been doing it long enough. And they probably get a better night's sleep in the truck than they do in their own bed at home. And we sleep well. Because we can sleep in laybys and you can have trucks come past you flat out in rocky truck you won't wake up. You can have people come past you who have decided to modify their air ones and have train horns and they'll blast them at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning or 2 o'clock in the morning they try to wake you up and you'll sleep through that uh, you will get your load stolen you'll sleep through that you will have your diesel stolen you'll sleep through that storms thunder and lightning you'll sleep through that Except for that one time when you are in the services and Eddie Snowbart decides he's going to back up in the middle of the night and park next to you. Then you'll wake up. And fuck me, will you wake up? The curtains will be open, the lights will be on and everything. Because you know, that's why in that, Eddie, in that green army truck, he's going back into your cab if you're not awake. So yeah, other than that, sleeping in a truck is pretty easy. Bonjour.